Welcome back. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And we are going to use a medium size hook and also a tape measure, uh, scissors. And I'm also going to use uh, this is a seagull yarn and it's a small yarn, but uh, I wanted it medium. So I'm going to join it to two. So this is how I remove it. I'm going to join so that they be two yarn to make it a medium size yarn. So if you're new here, please subscribe. It's pure acrylic. So you make a loop and after you have done making a loop, you chain 30. One, two, three. We are going to make a small size. So chain 30. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is chain 30. Then after you have chain 30, you will chain three. One, two, three. And this three will act as a double crochet. So we are going to make a double crochet immediately after this chain three because this will also act as a stitch and we're also going to make the next loop you're going to make a double crochet like that and after you've done that you chain three one two three then you omit the first loop the second loop the third loop you make a double crochet one then the next one you chain one two three then you omit one two then you go to the next one you make a double crochet on this one then a double crochet on the next chain a double crochet on the next chain make a total of five double crochet this is three four five then after you have done that chain three you omit chain one chain two on the third chain you make a double crochet then you chain three on the third one two three on the third you make a double crochet on this first loop then you make another double crochet you make five double crochet in each single chain make sure it's five double crochet in each single chain then you chain three you make another double crochet then after you have made this one the last one you chain three and this is the last one so you make uh, you meet two you make a double crochet then you make another double crochet then you make another double crochet so three double crochet this side it's three double crochet because this first chain it will act as a uh, double crochet so it's one two three so we finish it one two and here it will be two of these and three of these one double crochet in the middle so if you are you want a bigger one than this one you may add this and you add this one so you add five then you add another uh, three here then five and another three that is how you will be adding so this is for the smaller size so you, know, you will turn by chaining one two three because these three act as a chain so you omit the first loop you go to the second loop you make a double crochet like that then you chain one two three after you have chained three on top of this uh, double crochet you make three double crochet i'm going step by step and we have if we finish this front panel we'll have finished all of it so you're going to make two panels two small panel like this one this is front panel and also going to make a back panel so you chain three make sure you chain three on top of this we are going to reduce if you add here 
you reduce here. So we are going to reduce this side by two and this is how you reduce and you pull it through. Then make a dub, uh, double crochet on in between here. Then make a uh, half double crochet, then half double crochet, then you pull it through like that. So chain three. Then on top of this, we make three double crochet. Make three double crochet. Then chain three. On top of this, make half double crochet, half double crochet. Then you pull it through. Then on top of this small one, you make a double crochet. Then half double crochet. Then half double crochet like that then you pull it through it will be like that so chain three we are almost the end on top of this you make three double crochet like that you can see it's becoming beautiful then chain one two three on top of this make one two and three double crochet you see we have been reducing here and we add here so turn with a uh, chain three because it's also act as a stitch omit the first one go to the second one make a double crochet like that then chain one two three on top of this, we're also going to add. So when you add here, you reduce here. So I'm going to add one, two at the end. Like that. Then I chain, double crochet on in between. Then double crochet on the last one. So it will be a total of one, two, three, four, five. So it's a total of five double crochet. Then we chain three. After you have chain three, you reduce this one because you have add. So the first one we reduce two, and the second one we are going to pick three. We do it half double crochet, then we pull it through like that. Then we chain three. On top of this, because you have reduced this one, we're going to add three we're going to add two here on the first loop two here on the second loop then like that then we join we add at the end like that so you chain three then you reduce three times so you make three half double crochet then you pull it through then you chain three then additional so it's just kind of a repeat when you add you reduce the other side so like that so here it's the end chain three double three double crochet on top of this then you turn this is how it looks we are continuing you chain three you omit the first one remember and you go to the next loop like that then you chain three you can see here it's three so we are not going to to reduce or to add so we are going to put three double crochet here three double crochet or oh, not three we're going to put five double crochet sorry one two three four five then you chain three on top of this one we are going to put a double crochet then you chain three on top of this we are not going to add so we are going to put a five double crochet and from this row we are going to do a repeat of what you have done from here to here because uh, this is chain five and one here. Chain uh, this is a double crochet, five double crochet, chain three and one here. So 
if you can sit down here, we started with three, then one, then five, then one double crochet, then five. So it's the same as the way you are doing here. We have started with three, then five, then one, then five, then one. So you can realize that you have come back to like line one. So if you want to continue, you just repeat from the first line we started to the last line you have done. It's easy and simple like that. So we are the end here. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Let me see the thumbs up. Motivate me and give me a thumbs up and also like my video and share. And please comment. Just comment down there. It will motivate my videos. I'll be doing more videos for you. Mm, if it's my wish, I could have download every day three or four videos. But it's only that making a video is very, very, very hard. So this is it. I told you now this line is the same as this line. So it's like you are going to the second line. We are going to repeat a line, the second line, and you're going to repeat the third line like that. So when you are here, you chain three, then you make half double crochet, you pull it through, then double crochet, then half double crochet, then chain three. On top of this, we are going to add three double crochet. So when you're reducing, you make sure you also add like that. So chain three, you're going to chain three, then like that, half, half, then like that, then half, half. You can see it's becoming very, very beautiful. So you're going to reduce, you're going to repeat line two and three all through as you continue. And when you come back, I'll show you what I've done. And the next step, if you're following, please like my video, share, subscribe. And it will be okay for those who are coming as a new subscriber. You're welcome. Please subscribe. And those who subscribe already, thank you very much for coming back to my video. So it's like that. So we are here, which is like second line. So repeat this one and repeat the other one. We'll be I've done. I've already done oh, my panel, my front panel. This is the first front front panel. Let me show you how it measures. We are going to do a size small. So um, this is seven, let's say eight inches. Eight inches. I've already done another another front panel that is eight inches. And also the back panel is also eight inches. They all look the same. So check the wrong side. And this is the wrong side. Put this one, the first one. Uh, uh, I also want to remind you that the back panel, I crochet this one 60, then I add 20. So if you are bigger, you can add the way you like. You can add this one to be 40 and the back one uh, to be 80 plus 20. The way you can do it yourself. Make sure you make your measurement. This is size small. So my measurement is 17, which is good for any medium or small size. So it's 17. So after you have done this way, make sure they all align on the same side because you can see this side when when this one is one, it's supposed to be also one. When this one is five, it's supposed to be also five. 
then one, then five. So I'm going to show you how to join this one. And I'm using crochet because I like using crochet because when you're using crochet, you can untangle anytime you want. Or if you want to do the adjustment or to you reuse the yarn, you can reuse the yarn. So you make it on the wrong side, this one like that. Then we are going to start from this side going to this side and the other one will start from this side going to this side. This is because we all the all our line will be on the same line like this one. So take your what that one side if you have done your loop you chain one then we are going to make a single crochet on top of this one so we are joining using a simple as a single crochet like that eh? so make sure they align each other to make them look beautiful and make them look like it's one piece. Please subscribe and like my video. And please give it a thumbs up. And also ring that bell. And if I'm posting my video, you'll be the first one to get. Because I'm trying very much to upload. At least after every two days, I upload one video. And sometimes I'll be uploading a video every day. After every one day. So please subscribe and follow me. So let's join until to the end here make sure they align each other if you cannot just join like that you can use a stitch marker and put it at the end at the needle and uh, the end far again so i'm here at the end so i'm done with that panel so you chain two then you Cut your yarn after you cut your yarn more longer you also go back and pull this yarn and make a single crochet like that going back like that this you make sure that it is not untangled so you can cut even up to the end you will not see any yarn instead of hiding the yarn in between because it will reach a time when you wash it will untangle and you'll see there's this yarn. So like this, you'll not see where the yarn is. So you're going to do the same this side, but this side you're going to start from this end. Let's join this and come back and show you. And this is it. This is the correct side. I've done this way. If you see my videos, I'm I'm always giving uh, the easiest way to join the cardigan. And also, it's very, very, very nice, as you can see. So I'm going to show you how to continue now from here. It's very easy and nice. So make a loop. You can start from anywhere as we because we are going round so i like starting from this side going the other side but you can start from each any side that you like so it's like this you make uh you need chain three then make two double crochet because chain one acts as a stitch then chain three Chain three, you also make three double crochet on top of this chain three. Then after that, you chain three, we are going to make uh we are going to make one, we're going to reduce, so we reduce to one, two, reduce like that, then chain. Uh, double crochet then reduce so you're going to repeat like that until we reach the other end I'll show you I'm here at the end of this so you chain three and because you are reducing this you are supposed to reduce to three loop and here we have six loops so what you're going to do is 
you reduce this one first then you at the end here you take a loop then another loop at the end here then you pull it through then the next one you take one two then you pull it through like that you have joined this together like that so chain three and continue whenever you see this loop you add if it's one loop you add three and remember when you add three you reduce two like that then you add one you reduce two like that so chain three then make three double crochet on the same loop this is exactly here when this is one then chain three again reduce when you add three you reduce two so to make it three like that and this will mean that if you had you add three here this one reduces to three this is one two three like that so you continue like that and let's meet at this corner i'll show you again how to join together so i'm again here at the end of this loop so i'm going to chain three so we are reducing you make sure you take number one and then you take number two then you reduce like that then make a half double crochet there then on this other side as you are joining you make another half double crochet like that then you pull it through you have already joined this place and reduce here to another half half reduce like that it will be one two three loops so chain three and continue until you meet the end let's go to the end and come back reach here i show you how it looks like so i've already gone from here to here and because this is a, a double crochet this is three double crochet now so we reduce because you're doing a reduce you reduce to one like that and we're going to continue like this until we finish our loop i told you when it's three here you add two then one then you add two like that so when it's three you chain three then here you pull one pull two and pull three all together then chain three you continue like that and let's meet at the end here i show you how to join again here then we'll continue from there you can see we are at this corner so you make one two and three we reduce this corner like that then you chain like that chain three you go to the next one here we do the additional so i'm here at the end this is the end chain three make three double crochet at the end so we are going to repeat the same this is how it looks let me put it on this side this is how it looks very beautiful and whenever you are here it's last if you have already done all thing because you can convert them to a small vest or a long kimono duster and it's just a repeat you go around you come back you go around until you get your desired height so i'm going to teach you how to put a binding and uh, you can leave it like this but i like putting a binding so that it looks very beautiful 
So I'll not touch this one because I'll continue down. Um, you just do like this. You start from anywhere in this corner like this. So you make a loop and make three double crochet. And after this three double crochet, on this same, same loop, make seven double crochet on the same loop. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Like that. Then omit this first loop here. Then go to the second one. Make a single crochet like that. Uh, to this other loop, make seven double crochet. Four, five, six, and seven. So after you've done that, on you meet this on this one, you make a single crochet. Then on the next one, you make seven double crochet. Like that, omit this one, the next one, single crochet, then the next loop, seven double crochet. So you will do a repeat of this until you go around and meet at this place. It's looking beautiful, as you can see. I've already done a, a full kimono, and I did it off camera. And this one I used a medium size yarn. It was a winter king. So this is how long it is. This is the binding, the way it looks. And it's very long. That's why I told you, you can go as long as you want. This is the side that is down. So I'm going to show you how to put the weaves down. And this is where you get your box or you get your book. Uh, to the size that you like, you can make it smaller around around the yuan. This one is uh, five point. This is one five point five inch. So you take your yarn. That one was a medium size yarn. So you can use any medium size yarn. Making this kimono is fun, and I've made several colors already. Go around go around that thing like that you can use a book but if you don't have a book just make something like this of mine and make with it then you cut your yarn like that this is it so after you finish you decide if you're putting three or four like that and you continue so I've decided to use five, one, two, three, four, five string. So you align five string, four, five. You align them down to make your work easier. Like that. So after you have done that, go to the corner and make sure you are on your right side. So let me go to my right side. This is my right side. And you start from the corner here. So on your right side, you face down. You pull your yarn from this side. So you hold your yarn like this. Uh, make sure it's the needle. You pull like that. Then you take your hand and pull this one through. You see, it's beautiful. So you can make it shorter or long, so long as you're using these basics that I'm teaching you. You go to the next loop, you can push them closer or just far from each other. It will depend the way you want, closer or far. So the more it's closer, the more you use a lot of yarn. So mine, I'll just jump two loops and I put through the next one like that. So 
repeat that way until you finish your cardigan long kimono and it will be beautiful like that thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and please ring that bell whenever i'm posting my new video we'll be able to get and uh thank you very much for those who are subscribed and those who are coming back to watch my videos let's meet on the next video